When partial weight bearing, you can take some weight through the operated foot, but not your full weight. Using your crutches to take pressure off the operated foot is important. You can generally put half your weight through the operated foot. After your operation, you will need to keep your operated foot in an elevated position for two weeks. Toes should be above nose level and during this time, you should only get up for essential tasks. Put your hands behind you and sit yourself forward. Pivot round to the side of the bed and rest your non-operated foot on the floor. After your operation, you will be provided with a set of crutches, which will be important when you need to get up and move around. When standing up, your crutches should hang around your wrist like bangles. Push up from the bed into standing position, bearing in mind not to put your full weight down through your operated side. Take one crutch up at a time to help steady yourself when upright, ensuring that both crutches are facing forward. Finish by standing with both crutches out in front of you with your operated foot gently placed on the ground. Step both crutches forward, shoulder width apart. Taking your weight through both crutches, take a small, controlled step forward with your operated foot, stepping slightly behind your crutches. Make sure you are only putting a small amount of weight through the operated foot and use a slow, steady, controlled pace. When turning, keep your crutches slightly ahead of you, shoulder width apart, and rotating at a slow and steady pace. Begin by standing close to the bottom step. Pass one crutch into your other hand under your four fingers so that you are making a T-shape with your crutches. With your free hand, hold firmly onto the handrail. However, if someone is with you, they can take a hold of the other crutch. Put all your weight through both hands so the crutch and rail are taking the weight. Then with your unoperated leg, take a step up followed by your operated leg. When stepping up, remember to put as little weight as possible through your operated foot. Then bring your crutch up to the same step and continue this process for each step. Place your crutch on the step below you, ensuring the hand on the rail is level with the crutch. Lean slightly forward onto your crutches and put all your weight through both hands and lower your operated foot onto the same step as your crutch, followed by your unoperated foot. Again, when stepping down, use as little weight as possible through your operated foot. Continue this process for each step in a steady, controlled manner. Begin by standing close to the bottom step. Put your weight through both crutches, then step up with your unoperated foot, followed by your operated foot, and then your crutches. When stepping, use as little weight as possible through your operated foot and continue this process for each step. Place both crutches on the step below, followed by the operated foot. Lean forward slightly onto your crutches and bring down the non-operated foot, making sure not to put more than 50% of your weight through the operated foot. Continue this process for each step. Stand close enough to the chair so that it's touching the back of your leg. Let your crutches hang round your wrist like bangles and reach your hands back for the arms of the chair. Then slowly lower yourself down, ensuring your operated leg stays out in front. Only do this if your consultant allows 
and if there is someone at home who can help you. When putting a moon boot back on, gently place your foot back into the moon boot and make sure your heel is pushed right back into the inner sock. Also ensure your foot is flat against the sole of the boot. Once that's done, fasten the inner sock from the bottom up, ensuring it is tight, secure and comfortable. Fasten the straps from the bottom up, making sure they are tight enough to be secure, but not too tight, and that two fingers can fit underneath each strap, making sure that they are not irritating your skin. If you feel the straps are rubbing, there are foam inserts available. If someone is at home with you, they can help with this. When removing a moon boot, undo the velcro straps from the top first, then undo the velcro of the inner sock and carefully remove the operated foot from the moon boot. As explained at the beginning of the video, it is important that your foot is in strict high elevation for two weeks following your surgery. Toes should be above nose level during this time and you should only get up for essential tasks.